Hello everyone, and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution 2 Jurassic Difficulty Challenge Mode on the Southwest USA map. This is part four. Um, I've learned something about my audio, so hopefully the audio, at least for my voice, is a little better. Hopefully it uh, works out and I have to tinker with it a little bit but anyway the goal of today is to get the park to at least three stars in the next hour or so and like we mentioned earlier we are in pretty good position now that we have the avian pox outbreak out of the way um, we still have the rabies to deal with at some point, most likely. That'll probably be, but as you can see here, the requirements to unlock that is much easier than quarantining all of the animals. So I think our next big question is, aside from Majungasaurus, what do we want our next dinosaur to be? So, let's see... Alright... Let's see what we have available to us. I'm kind of thinking that a Margosaurus with... Remember, we want to try to pick dinosaurs that all have the same... If we're going to do herbivores, we want them to have the same uh, food preferences. So, Amargosaurus likes ground fiber. It looked like we had Kentrosaurus already unlocked automatically from, like, the research tree. Kentrosaurus likes ground fiber. And then what about, like, a small herbivore? Carithosaurus likes ground fiber, so that could be a group. But for now, actually, yeah, let's let's release these next couple of, or actually get these next couple of Majungasaur, or sorry, Carnotaurus out here. Um, this one's got the aggressive trait. Sorry, I keep forgetting. I know there's something with the, the thirsty trait that I want to get rid of, and I forgot how to unlock it. Release two dinosaurs with the thirsty trait. So we need to release one more Carnotaurus with thirsty trait. So this one and this one. And then if this one's causing problems because it's aggressive, then we'll sell it. We'll actually almost certainly have to sell it because it dislikes and threatens all other species. So that means that it won't be able to cohabitate with Majungasaurus. All right, so at the end of the last episode, um, we saw that we can upgrade to large hotels and that research just finished. So let's do that. There we go, large hotel, and does it fit? Okay, good. And let's put one over here too. We want to leave some room because we the gyrosphere is going to go up this way eventually. So, there, that should still be plenty of room, though, it looks like.
All right, let's release the next couple of Carnotaurus. Let's see, our main logistics guy is disgruntled. So instead of causing any problems with him, we're just gonna give him a rest. And let's see if we can start incubating some Majungasaurus, even though it's only at 98%. Um, let's see, let's pick a different color. Ooh, that orange. That Sonoran Desert looks like it could be cool. Um, let's see. Antisocial. How do we get rid of that? Release three dinosaurs with the antisocial trait. There you go. So I can't just... I have to deal with it, basically, for now. And what's this one? Also has a chance at having the thirsty trait. Well, once we release... Alright, let's wait for now, because once this other Carnotaurus is officially released, we'll be able to research how to get rid of the Thirsty trait. In the meantime... Let's see... Let's send out an expedition... to get some Notosaurus genome, because remember, we have Notosaurus, Chasmosaurus, and Compsognathus in here, and we want to make sure that we are able to replace them if their genome, sorry, if they start dying out from old age. I, I'm sure you're busy, aren't we all, but this latest objective is something that, uh, you should really pay attention to. Alright, so we're actually... My plan was to sell a Carnotaurus. Because of the, uh, one of them has the aggressive trait, so... I'm almost positive that just one of the Carnotaurus will have the appeal of 225 or higher. So that actually kind of works out for us. Let's just dry, ride in the gyrosphere for a little bit while we wait. We got some new research we can do. Did that just mean another dinosaur died from old age? Because I'm pretty sure that's how that unlocked. This looks really cool with like the canyon. Can I... oh, there it is. The top highlight button shows you where the dinosaurs are. Just ignore that I've suddenly taken over whoever this person is. <laughs> Zoop. Let's see, Carnotaurus number four. Are you the aggressive one? No, you're the, the one we want to keep. You're the aggressive one. Let's see, they're gonna fight immediately, probably. research that we can do and a bunch of fossils so let's finish up Majungasaurus and Takeda can do that I think our logistics guy is done resting all right so we can research the drought tolerance but I just, 
I can't do it just yet because we just assigned our main genetics guy, so we don't have enough genetics points, but we do have enough points for the brain aging. So let's do that. Then we'll give these two a rest afterwards. I think that's our Dilophosaurus. Yep. That was the one that had the sickly trait, so its lifespan was, I think it was seven, so. Alright, sell the Carnotaurus. And that'll complete that contract for us. And so that was the one that had the aggressive trait, so we engaged in somewhat morally questionable activities, but we're gonna advance our research and that Carnotaurus would have not been able to live with a Majungasaurus either, so... Let's speed things up a little bit. There's our expended, extended lifespan and our fossils are now done. So we've got some scientists that need to rest. And now we can research the drought tolerance. And I'm too off from that now. Can I... Can I train anybody to fix that or am I just gonna have to wait again. I think I'm just gonna have to wait some more. I speak only for myself, but this place is lucky to have you around. You have hope and optimism, tempered by the realization that it is not a question of if, but when history repeats itself. The irony of trying to control chaos when we know how history played out isn't lost on me. I kind of miss, without trying to sound too complainy in the first game, the the dialogue that all the characters had was just a little more um, it was a little more interesting, and because they talked to you throughout the entire five deaths campaign, it kind of felt like you knew the characters, whereas now it's they just kind of everything seems totally random. At least to me, anyway. Ooh, let's hop in this gyrosphere. This isn't the right one. Switch vehicles. Oh, but for some reason it didn't... Normally, if you click Ride Gyrosphere after selecting a specific one, it will go straight to that one, but not that time, I guess. Um, okay, let's skip time a little bit so that we can get all the scientists rested, and then we can start working on incubating Majungasaurus. Or, I want to research the drought tolerance first. Okay, we've got our... See, right now, um, actually, we can probably make a little more money out of these if I do that. I don't think we're quite at the point where we need the large amenities, but I went ahead and researched them. All right, resting completed. Let's get the drought tolerance done so that we can cancel out the thirsty trait. And we need four more. So him and cheaper research. Boom, look at all those bonuses. 
then let's send out for Amargosaurus fossils. And let's see, how is the oh, tuberculosis, but we already have that researched, so it should be okay. See, in this main area, we have 156 overcrowded guests right now. So we're close to needing to put down the large amenities in this area. Oh, I thought I researched those. I guess I just... I need to have two and a half stars. I I researched this and I thought it was something else. Let's see the way over here. So while we're just, I was kind of, oh, another tuberculosis. But the vet's already there and it's Chasmosaurus again. So let me kind of just show you what my plan is. Oh, another, they just missing or? Here, let's, let's do this ourselves. And there we go. All right, anyway, so this is kind of like, we have these two little hubs right now. And so uh, the gyrosphere is gonna go all the way up and around. Not, I'm hoping to not need the entire, all of this, but we might need it. I guess it just depends. But I'm thinking our next, like, hub area is probably going to be up here because it's nice and big. And then we can have the gyrosphere connect up, up to here so that'll take care of our transportation. But this will be where we put, like, another MVU and ranger station and a bunch of amenities and power stations. But I know... In order to get there, we, we need to have the gyrosphere probably go up through here and then snake around. And I'm thinking this corridor is gonna be a nice big herbivore enclosure or maybe even two enclosures if it's big enough. Okay, we actually have some minerals to sell. second before I do that I, I I already forgot if I okay I did do the drought tolerance that's done I, f I had forgotten if I actually did it or not can I give him a, th a third genetics point so that I can yeah let's give him one more point in genetics so that we can assign him to do the extraction and we can save Takeda for like the bigger tasks. Okay, let's look back at Majungasaurus now that we have everything unlocked that we can for now anyway. So let's get rid of this. They still have a 50% chance to be antisocial. Which I can't do anything about for now until we release a few that are antisocial. Which is kind of a pain, but for right now we kind of just have to deal with it. Um, one thing we can do though is we can 
increase the chance of having long-lived dinosaurs, so let's do that. And Takeda has enough skill points to do that. All right. Let's check on... Oh, I... All right, so now we can extract these fossils with the scientist. And we can send out for more expeditions with the scientist. And is there any other research that I can afford? Large electrified fence. I probably don't need that just yet. We might not um, even need a monorail, but it's only three, and so we might as well just keep the scientists busy for now. Let's go ahead and speed up time again, just so, oh, a new, new contract time. Observation is a key skill set in the security business. And in case you're wondering if I'll be keeping an eye on you as you deal with this new objective, that would be an affirmative. It's like, unless you played the first game, you don't even know who these people are, and they're just talking down to you the entire time. <laughs> um, anyway... We're about to release a couple new carnivores, so I feel like this one is probably actually pretty Every obtainable park means more opportunities for things to go sideways our posture should be proactive if we're reacting we're already too late all right we only have two all right so this one here so antisocial doesn't mean it will attack the carnotaurus it just means that it wants to be alpha so as long as and this one would actually be a really good one to be alpha because it has the humble trait. So what's the minimum population size for Majungasaurus? One, so we can release two and that should be just fine. All right. Crispy 1.2 million for those guys. We also, I think we only have, we're down to four Dilophosaurus. So we can definitely put some more Dilophosaurus in here, but my, like, my goal is not necessarily to max out the population of each enclosure. They want more space. Okay, well, we need to get the two and a half stars to get the bigger amenities first. But I actually, what I kind of want to do is build the park out first. And then worry about maximizing each enclosure. So instead of filling this full of Carnotaurus and Majungasaurus right away, I just kind of want to get the minimum population in same with the Dilophosaurus and worry about expanding the park first all right these aren't done extracting yet so our fossils can't show up let's check our rating there's a 30 species target for this map. That's pretty interesting. I'm not sure if we're going to get to all 30, but 
We'll see. The restroom coverage is 93%, but everything else is perfect. Um, okay, so it's not here. It's got to be over here because the gyrosphere is kind of far away from the other restroom, apparently. And... Alright, if it's gonna be picky, then we're just gonna build it sideways like this. Okay, so I think we have another batch of fossils in here. Oh, did we only need, like, I think we were only missing, like, one more fossil, which is a little annoying, but oh well. Alright, so now we're just waiting on the Majungasaurus to finish incubating, so let's speed things up a little bit. Excellent. We're gonna rest. Let's just rest all these real quick. And release with airlift. And I might need to. Courage comes with the job. Yep, we did get that contract done. Got both. Very nice, very nice. Oh, look at them. Can the gyrosphere get by? It doesn't look like it. Well, at least we know the visibility is a hundred percent. Y'all are about to have some new friendos. No power. Did that restroom being done make us run out of power? Oh, we already ran out of power a while ago, is what happened. Um, so we need a second power station, basically. That's fine. We'll just build another one over here and connect it to the grid. I, some wanna, I need to make sure I have enough room for large amenities over here, though. That's, that is a concern. Um, Alright, we're going to try this. And hopefully that is enough room. Amargosaurus is done. Majungasaurus. Where's the first one? There they are. Missing water. Oh, they're like orange. Oh, they want some rocks. We can handle that. Alright, let's see. I think Carnotaurus needs more prey faster, so their exhibit is perfect. What about Carnotaurus? They're still okay with just one feeder. Is that power station? Okay, so that takes care of our power. This should not need any more. Let's fill that up. 
usage is back to zero. So this is what happened was um, we were running off of a generator power when we built this all this electrified fence out here and the generator ran out eventually. All right, so let's see what are we at two and a half stars yet? Yes, so we can research this now. Boom, boom. And we unlocked a new medicine, the tuberculosis. Boom, this guy has just the right skills. And can I send out more for Notosaurus? I can, but I'd have to send all three scientists, so it's not really worth it. Um, can I incubate some Amargosaurus? What traits do they have? So we're gonna pick the, the desert. And we'll do random patterns. So they have large appetite, which I don't think I can. Release two dinosaurs with large appetite. So I, that's another one where I just have to deal with it at first, which is a little annoying, but I can get rid of the thirsty chance. And I can give them a long-lived chance. And okay. And yes, we can incubate some Amargosaurus. The batch size is only two, but their minimum population is just one. So I suppose let's start building the next enclosure, which I want to be out here. So in my, oh, that's already done. So only one egg, not fabulous, but that's okay. Um, let's wait while, let's wait for our healthcare welfare dude to finish researching and we can incubate another batch in the meantime. So what I'm probably gonna do is, this is gonna be like a long, narrow, double exhibit, because if it's, what you don't wanna do is have this all be one exhibit because if the dinosaurs wander from one end to the other, um, the habitat changes so much, or they can get really far away from like the other members of their species if they have social requirements or they can get too far away from the food that you put down for them. So this will be the main like big enclosure, this first main big chunk of it. And then this more narrow section, this can be for something smaller, like maybe some Pachycephalosaurus or something. All right, we got two eggs, but this one has the large appetite, but that's okay. Um, so the gyrosphere, I'm going to edit the track so that instead of curving up this way, I suppose I could just make a whole new gyrosphere route, but I, I don't think that's what I want to do. I think I'm gonna edit this track so that it goes up and around. 
And then remember, I'm kind of thinking this is where I want our next like main guest area to be. So it's going to go through here and up here and there'll be a gyro station here and then it'll go back and then it'll go back down. That could be a little bit weird though, so we'll see how it works. I've never, I've honestly never built a park with this, with using the gyro station and I'm basically using the gyro station instead of the monorail. So it's kind of a, a new idea. All right, edit route. All right, so this is gonna change things up quite a bit. So delete, 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 delete. All right, so I do think we're gonna come back down through here. So I'm gonna leave that. I kind of want it to go right down the middle so that the like the visibility bubble gets most of the exhibit. Same here. So then we might we could also use this as like a guest drop off area. We could do that too, I suppose. Alright, so so far we're up to here. Now the question is, do I want to just build it all the way up to here right now? I kind of think the answer is yes, because I'm going to need I'm going to need another set of MVU and whatchamacallit, the uh um the paleo veterinary people. I'm gonna need another set of them. Alright, so we're gonna go up here to get rid of this water. So here's our main landing area. So we need to go up there and then we're gonna go back down into here afterwards. Track. And for now, do I do I want to go ahead and put the station? I think I'm gonna. I think I kind of need to if we're gonna do this properly. So there's that. All right. So then we're just gonna go back down through here. And we're gonna reconnect into the Carnotaurus exhibit. So we should still have pretty good visibility coverage cause this'll There'll be some visibility here, and then the gyrosphere still goes through most of this enclosure. So as you so that you can see, I'm basically using this instead of a monorail. Um I do kind of think. Let's see. I kinda wonder if I need to have another guest zone over here though that maybe I should not, maybe I should build the next guest area, guest area here, and then maybe this can be our final guest area. 
I, I kind of think that might be the correct move. Can I... S okay, I have to delete some of the track so that I can put the station in here. There we go. And then this, we are going to build one out here eventually, but that's gonna be like the final stage of the park, I think. All right, so unpause. Okay, I've got a new objective for you to look over. Um, we did just research the large amenities, so... What I like about building construction is that it requires planning and thought. And I've always loved seeing things become something from nothing. I think that's what first attracted me to InGen. Okay, so this is going to be another, like, guest hub zone. So just build a path. So what's interesting is because, remember, we're not using monorails. This is, like, the entry point here. And I do think we even have room for, like, a small dinosaur exhibit somewhere in here, too, if we wanted to do that. But basically, we want everything to be as close to this little zone as possible. All right. So that has no power. We're going to build a small power station out here. So we're, I'll have to remember we're at four out of six for our power stations. And we're going to put this right about here. And small path for the power station. Alright, so let's get the Amargosaurus in there. Actually, no, not yet. We need to build out these things first. Response facility. So basically, as I expand the park out here, we can build an exhibit here, we can build an exhibit here, we, can, we already have one built here. Maybe we can build a narrow one here. So the MVU and the Paleo Vet are going to be assigned to one, two, three, four exhibits, and they're going to be headquartered up here. So that means we want to have them angled out this way so that they're already facing the direction they need to go. Uh, come on. That's good. And what about the vet? This one's way bigger, of course. I kind of think I want to try to fit a small dinosaur enclosure over there. So let's... Maybe I can kind of, like... Angle these just right. Oh, that was so close. But see, they, they're both, now they're both facing the direction they need to go, and they're not, the, the vet vehicle is right here, so they're not going to run into each other, basically. Alright, we're, we're getting there. I know it might seem like, like, what am I doing, but I, it's gonna, it's gonna come together soon here. So for, we want, see now it, because the game is smart enough to know that we're closer to these ranger teams. Uh, add task, yep. It's not reachable by vehicle, so let's add a fence there, add a fence here. Okay, storm, storm, storm. Where is our shelter? 
Alright, let's see what let's see what happens. Small power station two has no power. Okay, so remember, uh, our, is our generator? Yeah, see, our generator kicked in now because of the buildings, the power not working. There's, that's okay that there's nothing going on right there. I generally don't think we need to worry about repairing un unless it's a fence until the storm is over because it can just get re-damaged. So, I kind of ironically, this power station did not get damaged by the storm, so the power generator was actually not even needed, so it kind of disproved my point to an extent. But, we... I think we're fine. There was a... that feeder got infected randomly. Um... Do I not have a... I think I need to put down a regular meat dispenser in here. I think I, I thought I had done that, but I apparently didn't. Okay, so I think we're pretty safe to open the park back up. All right, everything's getting fixed. Is there anything out here that got damaged? The Paleo Medical got damaged. Uh, anything else? That looks fine. A lot of small damage at home base. So fix the gate. Fix the power stations. All right, and then our backup generator is back to zero usage. Okay, all right, all right, we're we're back in business, Mr. Hammond. Time to deliver some Amargosaurus. Oh, I haven't even started incubating them. That's that's my oopsie right there. Boom, boom. All right, so MVU two assigned to here. We already know that the Amargosaurus likes ground fiber. 
So we're gonna kind of preemptively put a bunch of that stuff down for them. Yeah, look at how expensive. That was half a million dollars just to put that ground fiber down. Alright, so if I... Oops, if I'm understanding this correctly... Our transport rating should still be 100%. And it is, look at that. We're gonna do this contract to construct the medium amenities out here. So let's go ahead and do that. One. Two. I just wanted to say thank you for taking care of that last objective. You're pretty awesome. <laughs> At this rate, it won't be long before you're running the place. In fact, it kind of feels like you are already. Um, shelter right here, and restroom right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to have some sort of small dinosaur enclosure in this area. So we're going to get our visibility out of the hotel, which we will put right... Whoa, let me, let me flatten that first so it doesn't do anything janky with the terrain. There we go. And we want to leave room in case we need to upgrade to large amenities later, but as you can see, this will cover most of that viewing area right there. Yep. Very good. Okay, so, Amargosaurus time, airlift into here, and I'm going to put them right down by here, so hopefully they don't freak out. This exhibit's probably, we're going to fit at least three herbivores in here, um, like I said, I'm, I'm thinking Amargosaurus. Kentrosaurus and like Carithosaurus because they all like ground fiber. Um, speaking of which, while that's going on, what's I want to use the flying reptiles so bad, but it just they always seem like such a risk compared to the regular dinosaurs. It looks like I need to research. Well, I don't need to research Kentrosaurus. We can we can do that. Is there anything else I should be doing? Um, e. coli medication. Oh, that's our cheaper incubation guy. The task is only one minute, so I think they can handle it. All right, let's speed up so that we can get to a Margosaurus landing, and then we can kind of evaluate if we need to move anything around in the park at all. Asset in transit. This is the large appetite boy, and they are there's still plenty of food, so that's a good sign. Ooh. I don't know how to say that, but we're gonna sell it. Extract, please. One more expedition will get Kentrosaurus done for us. And we can give that scientist a rest. 
right, I think the park, we're at, it says we're at two stars. I feel like we're still recovering from the sandstorm, perhaps. Long lifespan, yes please. Can we give Papa Costa, can we give him one more point? He can, but we don't have it researched, so we're just going to have to do two scientists for now. One, two. All right, let's see. I, know, I forgot, I did not, um, I need to set these amenities up. Right now we only, it thinks we have no, right now we just have a ton of luxury guests, apparently. There must not be like any actual appeal being generated out here. Which is a little odd. Like I said, I wonder if the gyrosphere ride hasn't fully... If you, It's kind of interesting if you look. So obviously I've made this incredibly long pathway here. So right now there's no gyrospheres actively going through this enclosure. So I think that's why our rating is poor, because there's like no visibility on this paddock right here. That's one of the things that kind of stinks with using gyrospheres or park tours as your main um, thing, because you kind of rely on the gyrospheres to actually move. All right, this dude needs a rest. We can release our third Amargosaurus. All right, I'm going to kind of hover over the map here and I'm gonna skip time a little bit. Do you see the gyrospheres? They don't even like, they kind of like move a teeny bit and then stop. That's interesting. Kentrosaurus. Almost done. That'll be a hundred for us. These are making no money right now. Asset transportation complete. Because there's like probably there's just like no guests over here is probably why I would imagine. Kentrosaurus complete. I also bet too if I had a, the gyro station up here, I think gyro spheres come out of each station, so we were literally having to wait for these gyro spheres to go all the way up here and around before they get into this enclosure. So I think that's unfortunately working against us a little bit. Are our Amargosaurus happy? That's good. Um, let me make sure they actually tolerate Stegosaurs. They do. They just don't want other sauropods. Let me click on Kentrosaurus. 
they don't like ceratopsids or ankylosaurids or other stegosaurs, so we will have to put in either an or ornithomimid or a hadrosaur with centrosaurus, but that's fine. This looks really cool, so we're just, at least it looks like it'll look cool, so we're just going to leave that as is, get rid of that thirstiness, and they have a chance to be weak. Um, I wonder if that will be a lifespan decreasing trait. Um, for right now, I don't think we can do anything but synthesize and find out. Yeah, I'm kind of, I'm a little concerned, to be honest, because it kind of looks like... Let's see, these are definitely full, but there's only like 38 overcrowded guests. Let's see what our rating looks like right now. Everything's 100%. We have plenty of path capacity still. I think it's just we need, like this whole area over here because the gyrospheres haven't gotten into the Carnotaurus paddock is generating like nothing for us. That might be something I have to explore in the next episode, but another thing. Weak and social. Also social. These guys will hurt each other though, won't they? Minimum population two. Let's synthesize another batch, because I don't want to release two social dinosaurs and have them attack each other. Let's see. What's like a small carnivore that we could have up in that corner of the map? Dimetrodon, maybe? We could, is there, there is there enough room for an Allosaurus back here? I don't know if this is enough room for an Allosaurus. It's definitely enough room for some Dimetrodon, though. If I move the power station over to f forward, and I like made this one, this whole like a U-shaped paddock, we could put an Allosaurus back here, though. Have our gyrospheres. Okay, they're just now reaching this enclosure. So I'm, I'm hoping that that's going to make this pop up with the visible dinosaurs and local dinosaur appeal. I don't know for sure. We're just going to have to find out. Alright, we only got two eggs again. But this one has a normal one and a social one, so... There we go. Alright, our first gyrosphere. Okay, and they can immediately see, like, all of the Carnotaurus, so let's see if that... Okay, see? Now it's actually generating appeal right here so okay now so I I was correct but it was kind of in a roundabout way um, sure and Statue, jukebox, now we're losing money somehow, that's a these, the way these amenities work is still like a pseudo mystery to me, let's try that one.
Okay, I think... Unfortunately, I think that, like, I... It's it's very much... You can tell it's definitely tied to, like, what's actually visible. And the fact that I made this giant area with nothing going on in it is clearly hurting this zone that I just built. So... I think what I need to do next is either make a enclosure here or make a mini enclosure like right here so that this area of the park isn't struggling so much because all the other ones oh that feeder is infected this area has constant appeal from this viewing gallery this area has constant appeal from this viewing gallery but this one right now technically only gets appeal once the gyrospheres go all the way through here and into this enclosure. So part of this is kind of a learning experience. I've never actually used the gyrospheres as my source of transportation. It looks like we're doing a little better now, um, but 1,400 profit generation from these amenities is pretty weak. So, I think we're just gonna have to... Let's see, let's take a second and look at, like, is there any... We could go back to Deinonychus after I shamed it earlier. We could make an, a Deinonychus enclosure. The thing with Dimetrodon is it needs a ton of water. So it's a very, like, space needy dinosaur. I actually kind of think Deinonychus could be the right choice for us over here. Megalosaurus could be a good pick too, because I don't think it needs as much space as Allosaurus does. Let's release our two Kentrosaurus anyway. So if you look over here, it's very vague, but I think it says like space area need low for Allosaurus. So maybe, maybe, maybe we'll, we'll do Allosaurus. I don't, I don't think I've done Allosaurus in a challenge mode park in a long time. And maybe I'll just scoot this power station forward so that we can have more room for it. That could be fun. Lack of space. Is it here? These aren't full. The accommodation rating is 100%. So is it these? These are full right now. How many overcrowded guests? 200, okay. So we can definitely, let's, before I forget, let's finish the episode by... If I can fit them, which will, that's a whole other question. We need to put large amenities down in here. All right. Hopefully I won't regret that. Oh yeah, I regret it already. How about this? Does this fit? Let's see, how about I move this to, like, right here? Asset has been delivered. Ooh, come on, you can reach, you can reach. Oh my god, are you serious? I guess I can't reach. Alright, so... Large amenity. There's one. And let's move this restroom. To here? No. Asset delivery confirmed. 
How about right here? Sure. Gotta solve one problem at a time. Somehow this isn't big enough. Okay. Dang, I was like really hoping that there was going to be enough room for all of these amenities in here, but obviously that was not correct. Let's see. I can definitely fit two of them right here. Like this. And then I could maybe have the third one over here if I find somewhere else to put the hotel. I could also just move the science center. Yeah, we're gonna put it up here because we have lots of room. At least for now, anyway, we have a lot of room up here. I mean, this works, but it's now it's kind of in the way of our... Let's just put it here for now. I don't think it'll block... It should not block the vet or the ranger teams too bad. All right, all right, we're... So, drinks right here. Oh yeah, you know it. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, we got them all down. All right, let's optimize these real quick. Um, get some big time money out of these. That's pretty good for right now. Statue and the fossils or skeleton display. There we go. And seating booths and skeleton display. All right, there we go. That's better. All right, I know that stuff's not very fun, but unfortunately on Jurassic Challenge mode, you have to keep up with those if you want to get five stars because you need to squeeze every single penny out of your guests to get to five stars. All right, I think that's where we're going to call it. Well, let's take it. Let's, let's enjoy our Kentrosaurus for a moment. Ooh, that's a cool looking cosmetic combo. They are happy. They have their friend, Amargosaurus, and they all they needed is ground fiber, which there's plenty of. Which one had the weak? So this one had the weak trait. Did that decrease the lifespan? It did. It's only going to... Okay, so there, there we go. There's a an answer to one of my questions I had. All right, we're going to call it here. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.